Or you can make any arrangement that you want. Not that we want to tip off the DA's office about this, but, but once you're married, you can be as creative or as uncreative as you want. I'm aware of that. Is Alexis. Carly. Carly has to decide what she really wants to do. So do I. So what are you telling me? You're backing out? I panicked. I'm over it. I'm ready. Let's do this. I'll get the tape. I'm sorry. I, I lost it. What happens? At least I didn't start shooting. <laughs> Not funny. Okay. <laughs> Jason. Thank you for everything. You need this too. All righty then. Everyone is present and accounted for. I take it we're ready to proceed. Take you, Caroline, to be my wife. From this day forward, to honor and to cherish, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, for as long as we both shall live. I, Caroline, take you, Michael to be my husband from this day forward, to honor, to cherish, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, forsaking all of us, as long as we both shall live. The rings, please. This ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of New York, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. See what I mean about pre-wedding jitters? Where are they now? Hiding. Ready to pounce. You never know with me. Better sign the marriage certificate before the bride decides to bolt. She won't. My own personal mind reader. He knows everything about me. Every marriage needs an element of suspense. I thought marriage is supposed to remove the suspense. Ah, that's where marriages go wrong. Boredom. The insidious home wrecker. Anyone care for a drink? I know that I could use one. Attorney, internet goddess, and floating hostess to boot? I'm sure that I have some champagne across the hall. Thanks, but I really have to be going. Johnny would drive you home. Johnny! Can you drive Mr. Hudson home, please? Uh, Thank you for everything. Best of luck to all of you. Oh, boy. Well, congratulations. I'm effectively neutralized. Right, right. What do you suggest? Like we release some doves from the roof? Whatever works. I gotta go. <laughs> I'll walk you out. No, wait, Jason, what about the, the traditional wedding feast? Yeah, yeah. Why not? Uh, Alexis, you too. Really? Yeah. I, I can't stay long. Well, wait, no, there's like some sort of a rule you can't refuse a bride on her wedding day. Especially if the bride's Carly, right, Jay? <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I guess I can stay for a little I'll while. I'll take that but as a yes, okay? Where are you going? Well, I have to get out of my dress. Oh. Does this mean no pictures? No cutting the cake, no honeymoon, that's for sure. You did the right thing, Sonny. Your drug trafficking charges will disappear. Could you give us a minute? Of course. I'm gonna bring Carly this bouquet. She may want to toss it. You don't happen to have a helmet handy, do you? I 
heard you in the bedroom convincing Carly to go through with this. Thanks. Don't thank me. I didn't do it for you. Meaning what? I did it for Carly. I know she'll be happy with you. Stan, you want Carly to be safe. Safety. I'm pretty sure I can provide happiness. It's not in the cards. She doesn't want any part of me. You're wrong. I heard her upstairs, you know, saying that I was rigid and frigid and controlling and all. Yes, you are. Okay, then she's right. Then all the more reason. Did you hear the whole conversation? I didn't have to. Do you know why Carly froze in the middle of the house? Because she doesn't want any part of me. Well, Carly wants this marriage more than anything. Where are you getting this, Jason? Not from Carly, because she, she never said anything to me. She's too scared to admit to herself how she feels, let alone you. Carly didn't freeze at the altar with AJ. That was all part of her master plan. Carly hasn't got a plan for you. For the first time, she's flying blind. No, 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 no. Carly's not flying at all. She's stuck with me, and she hates it. She... Carly feels like I trapped her. No, no, nobody traps Carly but Carly. She's in love with you, Sonny. That's what's wrong with her. Or how, but you're the one Carly wants. Jason, you're a good friend to me and to Carly, but you're no expert on, on women. Sonny, I know Carly. Uh-huh. I can read her. Yeah, well, maybe you're, 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 you're a little out of practice. Ooh. There's no way uh, Carly's in love with me. Why do you think she's acting so crazy? Um, maybe it has to do with who she is. Uh, well, maybe she's scared you won't love her back. <laughs> is it? That's nothing to do with love. Can I make you something for dinner? No, no, no. You ask Carly what she wants for dinner. <laughs> okay? I gotta go. I need to get back looking for Emily. All right, I understand. Thanks for taking time out. Huh? I got a couple guys uh, checking the link between Sorrel and the dealer. You need anything, call Benny. I will. All right. You know... You and Carly could be happy if you give yourselves a chance. Where'd everybody go? Ah, they wow. bailed. Yeah. Oh, great. A non-wedding followed by a non-reception. Well, I mean, you know, we can still celebrate if you're in the mood. How? Name it. What do you want to do? How do you make fish taste good? With eggs, no less. It's incredible. Well, some people say, you know, I'm controlling. That I make the fish obey. But if you like it that much, I can make it for you every morning. You do that for me. The least I can do for the lady who saved my behind. Well, I said that I would get you out of it, Sonny, you know, and you're not the only person around her who keeps their word. Thank you, Mrs. Carendos. <sighs> you're welcome, Mr. Carendos. So, what do you want for dessert?